I'm going to teach you how to paint a cluster of trees. We're going to do some evergreens and some deciduous trees. When you're starting to paint deciduous trees, you uh, start by sketching them out very lightly and then put a wash over the background um, for the sky. And then you'll spread the bristles of the brush out a little bit so you can get a nice leafy texture and you want to dilute the paint with um, a lot of water and you want it to be more bluish. The tops of the trees should be lighter than the bottom of the trees. Okay, now for the tree in the middle ground, we're going to go over it with a gr light green wash and then we're going to wait for that to dry and we're going to add a leafy texture by spreading the bristles of the brush out and dabbing the bristles of the brush on the tree. The light source is coming from the top left, so we want the left side of the tree to be a little bit darker. Okay, now I'm painting the trunk and the branches of the tree. And when I'm done with that, I'm going to paint the shadow at the bottom of the tree, and this is going to make the trees in the foreground stand out, really pop out. When I'm done with that, I'm going to put a wash over the trees in the foreground, uh, leaving the top of those trees lighter. And then I'm going to spread out the bristles of my brush and create a leafy texture. The right side of all these trees will be lighter because the light source, once again, is coming from the left. And the shadow will make the highlights for the trees next to them really stand out. Next, I'm going to paint a cluster of evergreen trees. And we start off with a small round brush, and we kind of just go back and forth. The strokes should get larger as you get to the bottom of the tree. And this is this part really is not that hard. After we add a light wash with our small round brush, we want to go back with a medium wash. The middle of each tree will be darker than um, the sides. And after that, we're going to go back with a darker wash for the deeper shadows. And the trees should be darker towards the middle and also darker towards the bottom. Now I'm going back in with a small round brush and adding some finer details and now I'm adding the trunk. Notice how the trunks of all the trees are broken lines. They're not straight lines because some of the lines will be um, blurred out because of the branches and, and because of the pine needles. Okay, thank you for watching.